Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here this morning and to talk about the Lord. We're going to be talking about God being so big and that he blesses the people he blesses. So we're going to sing, my God is so big. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the star is his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you. God is so big. In our story today, we're going to learn about God blessing his people. And not only blessing his people, but talking about forgiveness too. So we start with the story about Esau. Let's start there. Now let's pray. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all that you've given us. I pray for each and every child. I pray for Luke Danielle and his sister Lizanne, for Sinead and her brother Enrique, for Elijah, for Zachary, for uh, Liliana and Elijah. Father, I pray for all the children, for Julian and Christian. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Esau was very, very angry. Jacob tricked his brother Esau, and he lied to take his blessing. Jacob did not wait for God. Jacob did not ask for God's help. Jacob had to leave home. He was sad. He had to pack up his bags, and he walked, and he walked, and he was a very long way to Haran. Jacob must have felt very sad and lonely. He had to leave his mother and father and his brother and go far away. On and on he went. Jacob needed to eat and he needed to sleep and there was no houses nearby. So Jacob fell asleep. While he was sleeping, he had a dream. And in the dream, he saw a tall, tall ladder and it started from the ground and reached right up to heaven. Jacob saw more than a ladder. He saw God's angels going up and down the ladder. Jacob saw the best thing. He saw the Lord God. God was standing at the top of the ladder. God was angry with Jacob because of sin? No. Was God going to punish Jacob? No. God forgives and blesses his people. Even though Jacob sinned, God forgave Jacob and showed him great kindness. God spoke to Jacob, reminding him that he is the Lord the God of Abraham and Jacob, his grandfather and his father. God told Jacob that he would give him children and land and bless him. God promises to give Jacob a family. God promises to make his family very, very big. Through Jacob's family, all people on the earth will be blessed through you. That's in Genesis 28:14. This blessing was God's promise, and he sent his son Jesus to be born in Jacob's family. Jesus would bless all the people by providing a way to, res to be rescued from sin. Jesus is the ladder between God and people in Jacob's dream. Jesus makes it possible for people to know and love God. Jacob woke up, and surely, he said, this is where the Lord's places and he took up a stone that he used for a pillow and he set it up and he poured oil on it to make it special and Jacob knew that God had forgiven him and had blessed him Jacob wanted to love and obey God God forgave 